Hi, this is Pastor Danny Jefferson, and sending a message to all of my friends and family. Um, the purpose of this video is strictly just to uh, let you know where I'm voting and to also encourage you to uh, also do the same. Uh, this upcoming election is very critical, very vital to this, the future of our city, and we need everybody to vote. Um, as I've said before in other videos, your vote does count. It counts so much until the last mayor, uh, Mayor Davis, got in by two votes. So you know that every vote counts. And we're going to make this a grand election coming up uh, November the 8th. Uh, I recommend that you re-elect and we re-elect Mayor Osby Davis, who has done a great job. Uh, Mayor Davis got into the position and immediately was thrown into a financial crisis, uh, not of one that he made, but because of the previous councils, the decisions that they made, uh, he had to deal with the financial crisis of our city. Uh, thus, our, the, the current city council had to declare bankruptcy again based on the decisions that were made previous to them however with all of that said in these four years mayor davis along with council members have balanced the budget and today we are out of bankruptcy because of that kind of keen insight and leadership and teamwork which is very key in order to bring us to where we are today so i suggest that we re-elect mayor osby davis for the position of mayor also would like to recommend aaron hannigan councilwoman aaron hannigan who was very instrumental very key uh in the balancing of that budget um she comes with a wealth of knowledge and understanding as well as she is a person who supports everybody in this city. Um, let's vote for her. Jonathan Logan, I believe he's a, a newcomer. We need some young blood. We need someone with great king insight. He's new in one sense, but he's doing great things in other cities, and we want to bring that kind of leadership, vision, and expertise to the city of Vallejo. I support Jonathan Logan wholeheartedly. And then also my final recommendation in terms of city council is Jesus Mogapo. Uh, Mr. Mogapo is also a very wise man, a very capable man, and a very qualified man to sit on our city council. There are four seats available. There's one for the mayor and three seats for the city council. Let us not just vote for the mayor and one city council person. Let's vote for all four. Let's make sure that we vote for all four because there are four seats that have to be filled. Um, that does not mean that the other council uh, candidates are not good. I think that this year we've got some very uh, competitive count, uh, uh, persons that have been running for council. And I, I, I think they have done a good job. But these are the four that I'm recommending on tonight. Again, I want to stress that your vote does count. Um, in fact, if you don't vote, you don't count because they count votes. So it's important that you be a part of the process. As I shared with you some months ago, uh, some weeks ago, that the black community uh, did not come out that very well on last uh, election according to the stats that we have seen. We don't want that to be the case this election. That is November the 8th. Uh, we need you to come out in mass numbers. Many of you have already gotten your absentee ballots. Don't drive around town with those ballots. Put them in the mail now. Make sure that you fill them out now. Hurry up and get them in the mail so that we don't be December again trying to figure out who is the mayor and who is in the city council. So uh, I urge you to do that. Lastly, I also encourage you to vote yes on Measure B. Why? Measure B equals safe streets. Measure B equals uh, fire, a uh, faster fire and police response. It gives us the money that we need uh, in order to uh, to fund the things that are necessary in our cities. Some uh, opponents of Measure B state that um, they like the model of neighborhood watches and I applaud neighborhood watches. That's critical. That's key, and that's really being a community working together. However, uh, neighborhood watches is not the only answer. Uh, in fact, of the matter is who's watching the neighbors? 
So while we were having a neighborhood watchers, who's watching the neighbors? Some of the neighbors is the problem. So anyway, uh, uh, I know one thing. If I'm in trouble, if I'm in some kind of desperate situation, I'm not really counting on my neighbors. Uh, I want a person, I want a qualified, bona fide police officer with a gun. Well, yes, yes, exactly, with a badge and the ability to use the gun and the badge and take folks to jail if necessary. So I suggest that we support Measure B uh, for the upcoming election. Again, remember that uh, you matter. Your vote counts. And I know I'm being redundant, but it's just so critical for us to make sure that that message gets out there. And we're looking forward to a wonderful uh, election. It's November the 8th. Many organizations are coming together. Uh, in fact, here recently, uh, my organization, as well as many fraternity and sorority organizations, as, including the NAACP, have gone out and have put a voter's drive out to get the vote out. It's not about, in this particular case, it's not about putting any kind of uh, uh, thrust behind a candidate, but making sure that folks actually get out and vote. It's important for you to exercise your duty. And particularly of those of you that are African descent and African Americans, listen, too many people suffered, too many people paid prices, too many, I mean, dogs were sicked on them. Too many people suffered for your right to vote. Please, sir, please, ma'am, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, let's make sure that we get out to vote. Let's make this election a banner election. Let's win it, not just with two votes this time, but with a landslide. So I'm looking forward to seeing you at the polls. There are various organizations that are even arranging transportation if you need it. So uh, look around and you'll see postcards throughout the city that will also give you those, that kind of information. And remember that together we can make the difference for generations to come. Thank you so much.